everybody. We're back to do a little college football. The last we have approached the championship games. The last regular uh, week is over, and we are on to championship week, which is cool. Bowl games will be decided pretty soon. After Playoff this. spots will be decided. Playoff spots will be decided. But first of all, we have to recap week fourteen, the last regular week, without and, Alabama. You know that's. <laughs> No, we do have to recap Alabama because we see what happened here. Yes, we do see what happened here. But we're gonna. But we will recap the top fifteen ranked teams, starting out with number one, the Ohio, Ohio State, State University. University. <laughs> they played uh, Michigan, and Michigan was Michigan. They lost by twenty. Jim Harbaugh, I just don't know. How do you go zero and five and against Ohio State and still have a job? I mean, your goal as Michigan is to at least take one of those. Yeah, you know, Michigan could go eight and four as long as they beat Ohio State and probably be happy. But they're stuck he goes just... he goes ten and two and loses to Ohio State every year, I and mean, everybody hates him. <laughs> I mean, how can you? If you're a Michigan fan, how do you stand watching your team just get just get blown away by Ohio State just every year? I don't know. That's just the way it is, man. He is. Uh, he may not have a. He I, may still, he I may think st- there's a good chance know. he'll stay. But, I think there is, too, just because. But he has to prove he's, it. He's doing 10 wins. He just, he just can't win the big ones, you know. Or the big game, either. Or the big game, either. Yeah, we had Clemson uh, go to South Carolina, beat them 38-3. We figured out. South Carolina finishes slider. their season with a rather bad 4-8 and eight season. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad, yeah. Good old. Will Muschamp. Muschamp, baby. I hope they keep him as coach. He's fun to beat. <laughs> uh, we got we had UGA go to Georgia Tech and Georgia Tech's horrible this year, fifty two to seven. Maybe. Do you know what was also bad for Georgia? What's that? Their one of their better wide receivers was kicked out of the first half of the upcoming matchup with LSU. Yeah, he got uh, he got knocked out for uh, fighting, throwing a punch. So he'll that be just out. hurts your team. He'll be out for the first half of the LSU game, which was pretty bad. Yeah, but, but uh, uh, Georgia still. Really did provide plenty of optimism for the next game. Hmm. Yeah, else you're still going to beat them probably. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. And then uh, we have poor old Alabama. Don't you? Poor old Alabama. Okay. They went to Auburn. Do you want to just uh, spend a moment just to laugh at them? Okay. <laughs> Salty, mm, extra salty tears coming out of Alabama. Boy. Oh my goodness, yeah, number fifteen, uh, Auburn. Uh, what was won that, Alabama? Forty-eight to forty-five. I had to give up forty-eight points to Auburn. The trail mix team. The, the trail ult- mix team. The trail mix. Ma- there, there were some yummy M and M's in that trail mix. <laughs> they had it. Every time Alabama picks out of that trail mix, they always draw the wrong one. Gus, Every year. Gus, Mal, Gus Malzahn, what, he's the only coach in the SEC to be, to, to be saving three times? Every, do you know what the record is for Alabama when they play a ranked Auburn at Auburn? What? 0 for 7. That's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> but I will remember that the next time I, 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 uh, Alabama goes to a ranked Auburn. I'm going to throw <laughs> some money on that puppy. <laughs> but... Uh, there were plenty of key plays that Alabama just screwed up on. Oh, you mean the 100-yard interception return? That was one of the biggest screw-ups. That they was horrible. <laughs> only Auburn could catch a ball off of somebody's back and run it back 100 yards against Alabama. That's only Auburn. Only Auburn gets those opportunities. Only Auburn. Auburn, Auburn man. <laughs> U of A. And, and the other pick six was probably pretty bad for him, too. They were tr- well, that 100-yarder was worse because you were on the darn near the goal line. Yeah, it was, it was, it was they were going in for a touchdown. And they just botch it. So that was bad. Man. And not to mention the field goal miss with mm-hmm. two minutes left. That okay. was just horrible. That was a gimme shot too. It was that that wasn't a hard field goal. That was a choke. That was a choke. Alabama choked. Alabama choked. Alabama choked. To Auburn. To Auburn. Yeah, they got a habit of doing that. With they Auburn, have a habit. Yeah. Why do they always find those rare moments where we see Alabama choke against Auburn? I don't know. There's some mojo going on there in uh, <laughs> Jordan, Bryce, Hare. Jordan Jordan Hare Stadium. Yeah, that's <laughs> something going on there. But uh, that was a very good game. A very that was enjoyable. So guess who won't be in the playoffs? 
Unless they buy tickets. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> Man, it's amazing how uh, their season just completely just toilet bowled. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But congrats to Auburn. I mean, congrats to win. Auburn. A great, a great win to Auburn, yeah. This go, will get them a good bowl game. Gus Malzahn keeps his job for another year. Gus Malzahn, every time he's on the hot seat, he always <laughs> he beats him. Alabama, and then he, he gets Alabama. a three-year extension. <laughs> so hang on to that three-year extension. You know, three years from now, you'll, uh, you can beat Alabama again. And... Beat Alabama again. Okay, let's jump on that. We had Wisconsin go to number eight, Minnesota. I thought Minnesota might do something there. No, it was Wisconsin 38-17. I just, oh, just kind of thought watching the game that Minnesota was too inexperienced this year to really – Try mm-hmm. to contend. They were just on a Cinderella run, and it kind of ran it out. It kind of ran out of juice on them, yeah. Also on the back of Jonathan Taylor, which I don't think is in the Heisman candidacy anymore. But no, but he, he still is carries still, their offense. He's still a very good running back, yeah. We had Baylor go to Kansas. Oh, 61-6. That was a, that was a complete old beatdown. Well, yeah, that's pretty ugly beatdown. But yeah. pa- Baylor can prepare for next week. Yeah, Rutgers went to Penn State, lost twenty. They lost the game 26, 27 to six, but gained a head coach, the ultimate head coach, Shiano. The cursed name around our place. How long? Do, how, how long do you think it'll it'll uh, take him to lose his job? Three years. That's what I was thinking too. I think about three years from now, after Penn State beats him and Ohio State beats him and Michigan beats him and Michigan State beats him and occasionally Maryland and Indiana and Illinois, Illinois beats him, and he goes three years with about four or five wins each year. Uh, that I give him about three years. Just let's say 2023, 2022, 23. Uh, they'll be looking for another coach again. That's that's so bad, isn't it? But it's true. Dang. That's pretty true. Uh, we had Oregon State go to Oregon. Oregon won twenty four to ten. They still botched their opportunity last week to really make the playoff, but they can play spoiler next. They week. can play spoiler this coming week. Yeah, we uh we had number two LSU takes on Texas A and M fifty to seven, trying to prove a point. We're number one. We're number one. We're not Ohio State. LSU is number one. We're gonna put a fifty. They hung 50, and they only gave up seven points for Texas A&M. Yep. Texas A&M's quarterback only threw for LSU, 92. your defense is horrible. Yeah, the same defense that gives up only 92 yards. Gave picks up, them off three times. Picks off, yeah, picks off Texas A&M three times. Gave up 92 yards, only seven points to an SEC team while they're laying 50 on them, which is hard to do. <laughs> that was just pure on I dominance. still say LSU is the best team. Joe Burrow for. continues his legit – I think he's the Heisman this year. He, he's he's, he's got to be the Heisman. We he's had got to be the Heisman. We had Colorado go to Utah. And again, Utah is the best team. I don't know that much about one forty-five to fifteen. Oh, Utah's got a chance to make the playoffs. We'll talk about that here in a second. But the they, Utes they beat Colorado by thirty. Thirty. That's a pretty good game. And then we had Florida State go to Florida. Uh, I mean, Florida State. That's horrible. Uh, Florida won forty to seventeen. Some people say Florida is the best two loss team out there. Well, you can't really argue with that. I mean, uh, yeah. ever since Felipe Franks went down, uh, oh Felipe Franks, by the way, entered the transfer portal. So uh, all you Florida Gator fan people out there, don't have to worry about him coming back and ruining next year. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> He sucks, dude. The reason Florida is a good team right now is because he's not their quarterback. <laughs> oh, <Gosh. laughs> uh, and then we had number seven Oklahoma go to Okie State, and they were trying to prove a point too. Beat number twenty-one Okie State. Jalen Hurts, thirty-four to sixteen. So, Jalen Hurts. Oklahoma's trying to make a point for their. Uh, Playoff positioning, too. So, I, th- I think it'll be between Oklahoma and Utah. We'll find out this weekend. Speaking of it, let's jump into those championship, championship games. games. There's only nine games this weekend, only nine championship games. So, we'll go ahead and recap them all for you just to have a little, a little extra fun. A special episode. Special episode of Austin Weekend College Football. <laughs> uh, we, we actually have uh, one of the championship games this Friday night. Utah, Oregon, Pac-12 championship game. Who that, you got in that one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. My heart says Oregon. I would rather see Oregon win, 
uh, because I want I want I want Oklahoma to make the playoffs. I want Oklahoma to be number four and Ohio State to stay number one and Ohio State to have to play Oregon. I mean uh, uh, oh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma in the first round. That would that's just a fantasy type of matchup thing. So uh, I'm actually going to pull for Oregon. Uh, Utah may be the better team again. I don't know Utah that much. Let's pick the Ducks to upset the Utes. Yeah, let's. Sorry go, for let's the Ute fans Ducks. out there, but, but that's what we pick. I, I think that duck can pull a truck. <laughs> you still remember? I that. still remember that. Uh, well, Saturday, our first Saturday game, we got Baylor at Oklahoma. That should be a good game. Number seven, Baylor, and number six, Oklahoma. Baylor still got that bitter taste in their mouths after that blown lead. Mm-hmm. But they're in. Uh, uh, I think. I think Oklahoma wins it again. I think Oklahoma uh, again is trying to make the playoffs. So. Uh, Do you know Baylor still has a shot to make Baylor's the playoffs? Baylor still got a shot to make the. If Baylor beats Oklahoma, Oregon beats Utah. Baylor's probably in the playoffs, but. I just don't know. I just don't see. I just don't see Baylor, and I just don't see Baylor winning the game. No, Even though I don't that, think uh, no, I, don't think it. I just feel like that blown lead just really just uh, hit their confidence a bit, and uh, mm-hmm. it's probably going to affect them come this weekend. Yeah, and again, I think Lincoln Riley has seen him once. He'll probably plan for him really good this time. We got uh, as some of, as an extra run. We got the University of Louisiana, Appy State. Playing in that Sun Belt Championship game. I'm we gonna, did see Appy State, State play in person when we saw them we, uh, saw them pants South Carolina in South Carolina. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That <laughs> was pretty funny, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to go with Appy State on that one. I think Appy State wins that Sun Belt Championship and gets them a pretty good bowl. We got Cincy at Memphis. Maybe one of the bigger contested games. They just played... And Memphis beat Cincinnati. So it's going to be a rematch immediately. A revenge game. I'm going to go a little here. Memphis is favored by nine. I'm taking me some Cincy plus nine. You want to take the Bearcats? I'm going to take a little Bearcat. i got a feeling it's a little bit of a little, little, little bit of revenge on that one right there. Memphis yeah. is probably a little too focused on their basketball team right now. Yeah. The next game on the slate is the SEC championship game. This is the game I've wanted to talk about. Georgia Bulldogs. At or they're at, they're actually in Georgia, but versus LSU. LSU travels well. We so all know there's going to be some purple in that stadium. There's some Georgia has some bad juju when we're going into SEC championship games. Just some just they go up to yeah. a big lead and then they just find a way to blow a game. I don't even especially think, last year. I don't year. even think they get a lead in this one. You don't think they get a lead? You think LSU just? Uh, Jumps up on them and stays there again. I would love to see again Ohio State play Oklahoma. That's my favorite. But LSU wants to be number one. So LSU, if uh, they were to defeat Georgia by not, twenty, by twenty or so, then I don't see how the committee just just looks off of that. No. So LSU is looking to beat the crap out of Georgia. I just don't think Georgia has the offense. They've just struggled mm-hmm. on offense all year long. They've struggled to find any sort of consistency. Mm-hmm. Yep. So and their players um, are. I just. I feel like their players are a little frustrated on offense. Right now, the line is seven. LSU's favored by seven. I'm going to take. You want to take LSU? LSU minus seven. Yeah, I think it'll be. You I think, think it's double digits. You think double digits? I think double digit Whoa, win. Captain. I think double digit win. I really do. I almost. That's almost, I don't want to say it, but that's almost my lock of the week is LSU Your minus lock seven. lock of the week. LSU minus seven. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got uh, the Mountain West Championship game, Hawaii against the the Smurfs. We haven't, had a, we haven't got a chance to talk about the Smurfs. The lady. Smurfs. The Smurf turf, baby. Uh, Boise State will beat them pretty easily, I think. It'll be a double-digit win. That Bronco will be riding high in Smurf town. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the... And here we go. This tells you how weak the ACC is this year and how weak the Big Ten is this year. The uh, University of Virginia oh. won their division and is playing Clemson. And Clemson, so those, the top two teams in the ACC and Clemson's favored by 28 and a half points. Did they just rank Virginia just for the purpose of Clemson playing a ranked team? Don't know. It's sad though. Twenty eight and a half points. Clemson the second best by... team is twenty eight and a half point underdog. Yeah, that's just horrible. 
That would that would be like Alabama and LSU playing, and one of them's a twenty-eight and a half point underdog. Your second best team is that bad. It's just, I just don't see that. That's how bad the ACC is this year. They stink, dude. They smell. They're just like it's yeah. horrible. And then Ohio State playing Wisconsin. Ohio State's favored by sixteen and a half over Wisconsin. So, uh, I mean, the Big Ten's got better teams. Wisconsin's a pretty good team. Michigan's a pretty good team. Penn State's a pretty good team. But, but they only be, got one good team. That's it. Ohio State's the only good team in it. They got some pretty good teams. Ohio State's the only good team. So I just want to tell you one thing. Ohio we've State heard, does we've win heard that all, We've heard all this season about everyone saying that Ohio State's clearly the best up-and-down team in the country. No one could really compete with their their offense. Is really just dynamic. Their defense has this – has Chase Young that everybody's been raving over. and uh, I don't know. Michigan made him look sort of ordinary last week, Chase Young. I don't know, maybe. But uh, if they want to really say it, then let's just prove it on the field. Mm-hmm. Just prove that you're the best team instead of like – That's why I say I don't care if Ohio State goes in as the number one seed as long as I can get Oklahoma in there to play them. I want to see – just how legit they just are. Just how legit they are, and just how good Oklahoma is. You know, did, was Oklahoma playing lesser people this year, or are they that good? That I just think that would be a spectacular matchup. Would be those two teams, and then who wouldn't want to see LSU and Clemson in the Tiger Bowl? That would be pretty good too. But but Clemson's going to beat the doors off Virginia, and Ohio State's going to beat Wisconsin. And then our awesome game of the week is our yearly Army Navy game. Oh, we're going to have some – this is a good favorite old, of mine. A good old Army-Navy game. Good old yeah. run the football endlessly. Yeah, run, 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 run. Possibly run, just run, playing run, snow uh, and just yeah, muddy, just maybe. Yeah, just a good game. Oh, we're not going to pick a winner in that. They're both winners. Because uh, they are the Army armed and and forces. Navy, the armed forces. Bowl, How well, that's can what you pick a winner in nah. that game? That, that's just a fun game to watch. Yeah. But that's it. That's our college football, our – a uh, recap of week 14, the final week. Plus and then our, the patriotic our, game of all. Yeah, and then our predicts for the championship games. Next will be we'll recap the championship games, and then we'll talk bowls. We'll we'll maybe do a little recap of where ever, not where everybody, but where the top 15 are going for their bowls. So that's gonna so so that's gonna be interesting to talk about. But anyways, Probably yes, we're go we're done with college football for this week. So, so uh, send sure us a thought down below of what you think is going to happen this it, championship week. Yeah, yeah. who do you think is going to come out of it? Who do you think the four left are going to be? Do you think Ohio State's the best team in the country? Do you think yeah. LSU is the best team in the country? Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the groovy, hit the groovy baby button. button over here somewhere. And then, after that, and, then, and then after that, we'll be going. We'll see you next week for some more college football. See you next week.